Hey guys, back at it again with another build. Uh, this time it's a weapon build instead of a warframe build. Uh, and we'll be taking a look at the Strun Prime because apparently some people actually want to know what I built on my Strun Prime. So, this is not my actual Strun Prime build, but this is still gonna be really strong against what I'm trying to do. So this build is mostly for just killing acolytes, right? Just for killing acolytes. It's not, it's not too crazy. It's not going up to like level cap or anything. It can go to level cap. Uh, not this specific build, uh, but I don't really like using it. So yeah, uh, let's go for the evolutions for the incarnons. The first one is Blazing Barrel, which gives me plus damage and on firing plus 5% multi shot, and it stacks up to 5 times. This stack will disappear if you reload, so that's the only bad part about it, but it's, it's all good, right? This thing has like 20 in the chamber or something. Was it 20? I don't remember. We have to check later. Alright. So that third evo is projectile speed. I play gauss, so I don't need reload speed. Reload speed is whack to me since I play gauss a lot. But for you guys, this will be the better option versus projectile speed. But uh, right now I'll just do projectile speed. And crit chance. Why not status plus crit or just status, you might ask. One, the crit chance is way too low. As you can see. Uh, and two, I have a um, really buttload of status. I mean, not status, multi shot. 12 multi shot on a shotgun is pretty insane. As you can see here, pretty crazy. And since I have two multi shot mods, House Chamber Vigilante Armaments, this increases it to 33, which is even crazier. But yeah, so this is the build. Uh, damage, which is primary dead head, right? It also gives me plus 30% headshot multiplier and weapon recoil if you really care about that. But it's also because I'm doing corrosive, as you can see, charge shell and toxin, contagious spread. <coughs> so this build is just heavy hitting upfront damage. Uh, so I put point blank because not everyone has prime point blank, right? Uh, for more upfront damage, crit chance, of course, fire rate to negate the fi uh, fire rate decrease on critical deceleration, health chamber, you know, multi shot, vigilante armaments, more multi shot, and ravage for more crit damage. You can use prime mods, of course, because they are way better, but I'm gonna make this as friendly as possible, this build. So yeah, let's go and test out the build. Now, remember this is a nourish build, but I'll also show you uh, the weapon without nourish. So don't worry about it. Let's go. Man, I'm getting these cell sets. Alright, so this, this weapon isn't about room clearing or anything like that I'm just saying that right now it's just it, strong upfront damage as you can see as you can see by this this is the buff blazing barrel as m the more I shoot the more I get uh, I have 10 in my barrel my bad not 20 uh, but yeah uh, as soon as I reload, it disappears. So this is its Incarnon form. Real strong, right? Real strong. I'm not using Nourish yet. So... All you have to do to get the Incarnons are Headshot, of course. And, uh, yeah. I don't even need, need nourish right now. 
boom, 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 boom. They just died. They literally just died. Uh, hold on. Oh, it just died. Okay, it just died. Okay. <laughs> Stop one-shotting, please. I'm trying to showcase the build here. But yeah, as you can see... Norse is great. Of course, it's a great... Constant viral prop. Plus, my build is on corrosive, so negative armor for days. And yeah, nothing, nothing surprising about weapon builds, guys. This one's not dead for some reason. Nourish and corrosive, really strong. You can also put hunter munitions, right? Uh, you can remove vigilante armaments for hunter munitions. That's gonna be even more potent, of course. Uh, but against the acolyte, hunter munitions not gonna be that big of a deal. Since they're just gonna be able to one shot them. Well, not one shot, but melt them. Oh my god, so strong. This is why I don't do weapon builds, guys. I, I like, I will do it for you guys, but uh, it's super easy, like, to build weapons. It's very straightforward. If you're going against uh, Corpus, you go Toxin. If you're going against. What's it called? Infested? You go like gas, electric or something. Well, not gas and electric, but you know. Gas or something else, I don't know. You go anything, they, they just die. Infested just die. Yeah, see, as you can see, it's not really a weapon looking or room looking uh, weapon, but it's still really strong. And I will show you. The power against the acolyte. Ah, oh, fight it's you. One, two, three, four. Look at that. Boom. It's the same amount of damage as <laughs> as what I usually use. Beginner friendly build, by the way. But of course, it's an Incarnon. So I can't really say it's too beginner friendly. Incarnons are pretty hard to get for new players. I can understand. It takes at least an hour, an hour I think. Yeah, at least an hour to get to tier five in Steel Pass Circuit. So yeah, Run Prime, pretty basic, basic build, very basic build. You don't need Nourish, of course, not needed. But if you're going for Hunter Munition Nourish and Corrosive, that's gonna be real strong. This is without Hunter Munitions, as you can see. Imagine it was with Hunter Munitions, it's gonna be even crazier. It's gonna be even crazier. Yeah, there's the Acolyte Killing, uh, Acolyte Killing, uh, Strong Prime. Uh, I will do a recap again, of course, I will always do a recap just in case I miss something in the first few minutes All right, let's go back <laughs> Yeah, check out the Neja video guys Cuz why not? <laughs> He's really fun now He's really really fun. I can't stop using him but yeah, that's the strong prime build. We're gonna wait for this to load and then we're gonna do a recap. <coughs> Alright, time to recap. Arsenal, forgot that's a thing. Alright, so corrosive. Uh, green shards are recommended. I don't have green shards on this because this is my melee gauss. So I didn't bother to put clean shards. The build. 
and Karnon evolutions are Blazing Barrel, multi shot, of course, and damage. Swift Deliverance for projectile speed, but you can you guys can go rapid reinforcement for better reload speed because switching to the Incarnon form actually requires reload speed, so that's even better. And uh, Evo 4 for the Commodore's of Fortune for crit chance because I already have. Tons of multi shot. Twelve's enough. <laughs> Alright, here's the build. The Norish build. Uh, this is the exact build. Uh, damage. More damage. It's not multiplicative, of course, it just adds on two point blank. Remember that this is already base damage multiplier. And adding more damage just, you know, adds it. <laughs> so yeah. Corrosive. Electricity. Toxin. Crit, crit chance, fire rate because fire rate's always useful, and multi shot. As you can see, no prime mods, no galvanized mods, and vigilante elements. But if you want to go the Norish route, like the actual Norish route, you can remove this for hunter munitions. And yeah, that's it for the build, man. Uh, Acolyte killing, strong prime. It's good for acolytes. It's good for anything, to be honest. As long as you can headshot and uh, get the incarnate. But yeah, that's the build. Goodbye, guys.